Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another video. Uh, today, we're gonna be, we're just gonna be doing a little bit of everything. We're gonna be helping out my brother here, doing some crap, and uh, moving some stuff around. You'll see, you'll see. And also, there's a lot of stuff that's changed since the last time I did the video with Richard. A lot of things have been changed, and I'll update you on all that stuff later, but as of now, the, uh, the Camaro no longer has an engine, and that thing, I sold the engine, so that's gone. The BMW's gone, I sold that. So, yeah, like I said, a lot of things have changed. I'll update you guys uh, on that later. But as of now, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go help Terra Bear over here and we're gonna move some stuff around. So as you can see, uh, we're, we're moving vehicles around and stuff. We gotta put the Camaro in the backyard after we move the truck. Taryn, yeah. what are we doing now? I have no clue. All right, cool. <laughs> so he wants to put that board on that truck to push it with that Bronco. So we're gonna see how this works out. Maybe, I don't know. It's a little windy, I don't know if you can hear me, but we got that moved and we moved some of that junk over there. And uh, so right over there, those are extra burners, the BMW wheels. BMW wheels, but they fit on the 240, so they're gonna be burners. Except they're 16s, whereas all my other wheels are 17s. But I have four sets of burners as of now. Uh, the diesel motor stayed, diesel subframe moved there, moved the truck there, it used to be here. And then my Camaro's gonna go here in a bit. But uh, right now, right now Taryn's ready to go, go get, or look at, I think get, a uh, Fox Bunny Mustang. So, and it's gonna be a flat toe, so we gotta flat toe it here. So that's gonna be real fun. Whew, I'm out of, I'm out of breath. My goodness. So yeah, we gotta do that. <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, come on, focus on my face. What are you doing? All right, there we go. So we gotta do that stuff, and then I got work at four, so we have to be done by then. But yeah, the like I said, a lot of things have changed. I sold the Camaro motor for a thousand. It was a 327 small block. Uh, sold that for a thousand. I would have filmed it, but that whole thing was just a disaster. That whole it was like a week process. That whole thing was just a huge ordeal. So I didn't film it. Um, Sold the BMW for like burger money, 50 bucks for a BMW. But I mean, it was in it was bad condition. And I got to keep my wheels, so they flat towed it. That was cool. The original was funny. The kid wanted just a tail light in the hood for 50 bucks, and he was actually in communication with my brother through the Facebook buy and sell. And uh, I told my brother to tell him just it's 50 bucks for the whole car because I just wanted to get it out of here because I can't, I don't have the room for it. I can't keep it. And the 327 motor is getting sold, so my whole plans with that BMW were like down. So yeah, that happened. The Camaro is going to get, as soon as we put the Camaro in the backyard, and I'll make another video explaining this in detail, but Camaro's gonna go in the backyard, I'm gonna just get fully stripped, and then I'm gonna get it, start prepping it for the LS, or the 5.3 block. Um, I'm gonna start prepping it to make motor mounts for it. So, that'll be sick. Stay tuned for that. And I don't know when that'll happen, hopefully in like a week or so, but this next week is pretty busy between the two jobs for me. 
Uh huh. Isn't that right, Terror Bear? What? Isn't that effing right? What? I don't know. Who knows? No, I have no idea. Yeah. I'm gonna try to fix the brake fluid. Do you have any brake fluid? Sweet. Is it helpful? Is it? It's not. It's pretty empty. <clears throat> we're gonna try to fix. Sarah, what are we going to get? What are we doing today? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. Fox that's buddy, it. Bro. Mm-hmm. What kind of Fox Body? 2.3 liter EcoBoost. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. From the 70s. From the 70s. Yeah. Original 2.3 EcoBoost from the 70s. 70s you'll, bro. you'll see. You'll see. Turbo charge. Bet you didn't know they made those. Four speed, bro. You can look it up. They did. With the 8.8 .8 rear end. It might be a Cobra too. Might be a Cobra. Cobra With 2. No point. title. Yeah. No title. No That's title. Flip silver screw. Like well, always. Yeah. I'm gonna bring this top one. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. Are you gonna bring what? Bring this top toolbox. Ah, uh, that's your decision, not mine. And, oh, I need sockets, brick. Well, do you want me to just bring my toolkit? Bring your toolkit too. So we're, we're here, we're sitting in this Mustang right now, and it's a bit of a hoopty. Um, the interior is absolute just trash. There's holes in everything. Extra rear window, though. Uh, uh, yeah, seats are trash. There. And so right now we're trying to hotwire it. But it is a uh, four-cylinder turbo car. <laughs> I don't think it's a real Cobra, but it is a real four-cylinder oh, turbo. The piece old, of shit. The old eco boost. Dude, don't, there's a piece of shit lock right there. You see it? Yeah, I see it. It's right there. <clears throat> John, how much did you pay for this thing? Four fifty. dollars Are you happy about your purchase? Oh, of course. <laughs> I don't know. What I don't think it's worth four fifty. dollars this thing. I mean, well, Trust, it runs. It, it runs, but the guy the guy lost the key and there's no title, so. It, if it ran, it'd be worth five, five fifty, six hundred, somewhere around there. If you could start part. it. Yeah, somewhere in that range, but... So why is this power jump not coming off? Because it's a Ford. Oh, you're right. <laughs> all Look right, at all man. this unnecessary bull crap we're having to deal with right now. And by we, I mean him. It's a face of determination. Oh, there goes something. <laughs> also, this dude has a Samurai and it's super, super sweet. It's original hardtop. If mine was original hardtop, I'd probably keep it because those are awesome. Update, we got yeah. that broken. Do you want adjustable? Is there an adjustable wrench? No. no. Well, that blows. All right, here's the, the Mustang. It's two three liter turbo. There's the turbo right there. It's all factory. Exhaust comes out on this side. But, you know, uh, the smart thing would be to put the turbo there, but nah, that's not that's not what we want. We want it here. All righty. So right now I'm in this Mustang, and uh, we got no brake. Well, we got a little bit of brakes, barely any. We're flat towing right now. Um, so let me, let me just show you, it's real sketchy. So the parking brake kind of works, regular brakes don't really work. We got this thing zipped, or not zipped tied, ratchet strapped over there so the steering wheel doesn't lock because there's no key. And uh, yeah, we're just, we're just cruising along right now at a, a good speed. So yeah, you can see Terra's up there, got no traffic behind us as of now, but I mean, you know, we're going what, 40? It looks like 40 about. So. Yeah, um, I'll keep you updated. As of now, we just got on the road, just got it started flat towing. We were going to bleed the brakes, but uh, we just hooked the lines up to the master because they weren't even hooked up. So, I mean, right now, we're doing pretty good. Right now. But uh, I'll, let you guys, I'll update you guys in a bit. So another thing I want to say, uh, if you've never flat towed before, um, which, you know, I've done it so many times because of because of this kid right here. He's always buying garbage that doesn't run, so we have to flat tow at home. Um, but yeah, so if you've never flat towed before, there is a technique to it. What you gotta do is you pretty much need to, you're the guy who's pulling you, you're their brakes. So you need to be, if you're flat towing, which this thing doesn't really have the best brakes, so it's kind of hard. I have to like pump the pedal and then mash it to the floor. And um, yeah, anyways, if you... If you're the one in the vehicle that's being flat towed, you need to keep tension on the strap. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys when we get home. So you just you just stay tuned right there, and I'm gonna keep flat towing this death trap. 
all the way home. So yeah, wish me luck. I'll see you in a bit. So we got this hunk of junk home and uh, on the way it was kind of scary because the brakes started smoking and they stopped kind of working even more and uh, yeah, stuff happened. Uh, how was the pull, Taryn? How was the pull? Oh, it was good. Yeah, nice, nice for pull. you. It wasn't for me. Why not? Because this thing freaking blows some baloney. Um, right now it does. Wait until it runs and drops. So wait until you hear that freaking cut off exhaust. Oh, I bet it sounds like garbage. Ooh. Come over here to the engine bay and start pulling off some of this spiderweb vacuum garbage. Like, look, what is this? I don't even know what any of this is. And there's like, look at this. Look at, look. Oh my goodness. All these screws. Man, the more I look at it, the, the more I see. If it has a screw, it doesn't need to be there. Oh, oh, oh. We got stuff happening. Got stuff happening right here. Suspension flex stuff. Alright, let's see where Taryn is on this Mustang. Taryn, where are you at on this Mustang? Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's just a good hole. Oh, look at this, ready? Just a good oh. hole. Wow! So that works, but no, I think I have to have the on, key on, to, on position. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> what the F did you just do? <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if you saw that, but this little... <laughs> This little thing right here, he just pushed it back and it started cranking. Yeah, I started moving the car, I was like, what the f is going on? <laughs> Alright, so if you didn't get a good look at it when we were at that guy's house, this is it. 1979, four-cylinder Mustang with a turbo. Might be a Cobra. Uh, I don't know. This is the... F 79's the first year, correct? Yeah, sir. 79's the first year. Uh, so this is the very first Fox body. Fox body ever made, bro. Look at that Cobra. You see, it's his... You can kind of see it. Yeah, Cobra right there. But I mean, that might just be a sticker someone put on. Who knows? Because there's no other Cobra badging anywhere. All right, we're out here. We out here, Turbo. Huh? Yep. Up, oh, it it runs. Show you in a bit. He's connecting the fuel line back to the tank, or the return, because it was leaking. So I had to snip some off and put it on there. But yeah, freaking, it runs. And it has some decent turbo in it. So you can hear from the fucking pipe. You can hear shh. Really? Yeah. Uh, when I was over there doing pee, I freaking heard it. <clears throat> when you rubbed it real high right before it stalled, it was. <laughs> I was like, hey, not bad. Not bad, 138 horsepower. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> so how's that going down there? You just gotta connect it just a little bit? Yeah, it's uh, slowly. Slow process. Yep, it's puking fuel out all over the ground, which is always safe. Which is fucking man, huh? Yeah. And uh, this air filter looks like trash. These vacuum lines look like trash. This uh. engine's dirty and gross. The manifold's cracked over there. <clears throat> uh, it's a Ford. That's your first problem. Oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me jiggle the positive, wait. This was a $450 car, and we got it running the same day. We, he bought it at like noon today, and uh, it is the, there you go, there's the date. February 25th, and uh, yeah, he bought it today. He paid the guy at about noon. We got it here at like four o'clock. And now it is, I need to check the time. It is 7.08 and uh, she's running, so. Not bad, we're gonna go for a cruise here in a bit. Well not a cruise, but a little, a little whip around the block and see if it, if it does anything. Alrighty, so um, we're calling it quits for the night. It is. 9.55 and uh, we're calling it quits because it's freaking cold that's why but uh, we figured out the problem at least we think we did Taryn's gonna work on some more tomorrow while I'm at work um, there's a cracked fuel hose underneath the driver the driver's side on the like under the driver's seat where it runs along the frame rail um, so yeah, there's a cracked fuel line there, and I, we think that's why it's not getting fuel from the tank, because the fuel pump works, everything else is connected. 
um, got the all the wiring crap back together and figured that out. But yeah, oh, and also when I when I'm constantly dumping fuel into the carburetor, of course it stays running no problem. But uh, it won't squirt fuel out of the jets because it's not getting any fuel from the tank. And that we know the tank has fuel because we put like three and a half gallons in there. So and the the gauge works, and it said we're just under a half a tank. So. Um, yeah, that's all screwed. But I'm going to end here so you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time.